So now you got to the point that you wish to export your creations for the world to enjoy. So first, click on Output on the top bar. Once inside the Output, notice we have four tabs to choose from. When we click on the Media tab, we can choose the format we wish to export as. The most popular output format is AVI. After we choose the AVI format, we can now choose the output settings. We can choose the range we wish to export based on time. We can also choose a resolution. Then we can choose to crop the image and we can drag the box around the model or we can use the full image. We can manually type the output size as well as choose the frame rate. Press the export button to export. Then we can choose if we wish to render full frames uncompressed which will be quite a large file size or use a Kodak. I recommend using Intel Kodaks if you have them but it depends on you and your project needs. Crazy Talk provides several ways for you to while still under the media tab, we can choose a different format such as Sequence Taga, which we can use in video editing program to create video overlay using our Crazy Talk avatar. Next, we can publish directly to YouTube. Just enter your account information and the information about your video, and you can publish directly to YouTube for faster uploading. Under the web tab, we can create flash videos, which can be placed on your personal websites. First choose the format, such as flash file, then just like other export methods, we can choose resolution and specific sections. But with flash, we have advanced options to increase the video and audio quality. But this will affect the file size, but it's up to you and your preferences. Plus, if we wish to embed, we should click the produce the HTML page, then press export. If you wish to create web avatars or widgets, please see the tutorial web avatar. And that is how we can share our crazy talk creations to the world.